The netting knot. The knot used in netting has many different names. Becket bend, netting knot, sheet bend, weaver's hitch, and weaver's knot. Whatever you call it, it's the same knot. Just as there are different names attached to this knot, there are also a variety of ways to tie it. You can wrap the thread around your fingers. The green piece of netting was tied using this method. You can go up through a loop in the previous row and then through the loop formed on the left. The red piece of netting was tied using this method. Or you can go up through a loop in the previous row and then through the loop formed on the right. The blue piece of netting was tied using this method. With all these different names and ways of tying the knot, I was recently asked, are the knots structurally different? To answer that question, we'll need to look more closely at the netting knot. The netting knot has two distinct looking sides. If you compare the similar looking sides of the netting knots, you will notice that the knots in the green and blue netting look the same, while the knots in the red netting are mere images of the knots in the green and blue netting. If you examine a piece of diamond mesh netting, you will notice that the knots in every other row look the same. The odd-numbered knot rows look alike, and the even-numbered knot rows look alike. However, the two rows next to each other do not look alike. Just in case you think I can't count knot rows, I've removed the foundation loop, untied the knots in row 1, and replaced the foundation loop. So, row one knots are non-existent. The netting knot also has what I'm going to refer to as a front side and a back side. The front side is the side of the knot you see when tying the knot. And the back side of the knot is what you see on the row just finished after the netting has been turned over in preparation to tie the next row. When we look at these three pieces of netting, the bottom row of each piece shows the front side of the netting knot, and the top row of each piece shows the back side for that particular method of tying the netting knot. When you compare the three different methods used to tie the netting knot, you will notice that the front side of the red and green pieces of netting look similar. Mere images, but similar, while the front side of the blue netting is not at all the same. This means that the rows tied in the blue netting are opposite those tied in the green and red netting. A front side look in the blue netting is the same as a back side look in the green and red netting. Oh yes, I almost forgot. We should also look at the knots that are tied to join new threads to a piece of netting. When my grandmother taught me to join two thread ends together, she called that knot a weaver's knot. Since then, I have found a way to join two ends using a slip knot. Both methods produce a netting knot and look like those produced in the blue and green netting. So, what is the answer to the question? What would you say? When we compare all the different ways of tying this knot, are the knots structurally the same?